time to get another day started <laughs> so let's do that let's get the timer started let's give you the time and date stamp it is 13 hours and 19 minutes into the day of Thursday April 10th 2014 and we are still digging out from the interrupts we're so slow but surely getting things back into order again let me just sort of fix these pillows here <laughs> then we'll be all right yeah uh, and I did my uh, the first segment yesterday was the food uh, was the shopping. It's not like just see, I, I when I go food shopping I do stop by other stores and get other things. So it, initially it's food shopping, but uh, if there's something else available that I want, then I get that as well. Uh, I needed some new slippers. As I said I'm going trying to get into the Harajuku Kawaii uh, uh, aspect of uh, uh, style. This has to do with uh, the Beauty and Geek. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I'm setting up this sewing and design room is that uh, I want to sort of develop my style a little bit more. I found that uh, geeks and otakos can uh, uh, branch off of Harajuku. I know they're in Ak uh, uh, Akihabara. I think I, <laughs> I can't remember how to pronounce it right now. My, my brain is kind of off. Uh, anyways, uh, the 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 one, the place where you go, where you want to create an individual style and not follow a particular trend, that's Hirajuku. And then everything else kind of branches off of that. So, um, I got these slippers here. This is the slip. These are the slippers I got. And again, th these are these are rather cheap. I got them for about four dollars. And then I got these for about four bucks each too. Uh, these are destined for a Kawaii project. Uh, they're these uh, earmuffs things. Uh, what I'm probably going to do with some of them is take the earmuffs off the uh, frame and mount them to like, like headphones. So they create headphones out of them. And, you know, stuff like, you know, you can, create, uh, you can create other things out of them. So I got two of them. I got this one here. And I got this one. So this one is probably going to go uh, for my walking in the winter. It's probably going to be my earmuffs for that. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, start. We'll see how it ends up working out. But that's these are kind of the things that I get from there. And what happens is a lot of times when they're give, when they're having special, they give out these nice little bags here. Like this is this isn't a um, plastic bag. This is a cloth bag. So that can very easily, and because it's decorative, it can be repurposed for decorations. It could be used for a lot of different things around here. So. Uh, that's kind of uh, what I intend to do with it. Is I tend to, you know as I get things, uh, repurpose them, uh, repurpose them, uh, fix them up, and that's how my decorations come about. So, <laughs> uh, but my decorations is not typical. Again, I'm not a typical person either. Uh, I think my decoration, my decorations more or less, more often than not. Reflect who I am, and most of my furniture has come out of the garbage, or from a discount store, or something like that. Or you know, I've never paid full price for anything. Like my the bed set I just recently got, and I'll show you some pictures of it later on. Uh, maybe I might post some pictures to Instagram for that. Uh, I got I got it for thirty dollars. <laughs> the whole the whole bed set I got for thirty dollars. So, as, you know, that's that, that's kind of how I do things. I, I don't uh, I don't as I don't pay full price. And I I do live a freaking lifestyle. But the freaking lifestyle, the way I've been sort of been able to figure it out, 
uh, from in terms of what other doesn't mean I have to do it less less in terms of what other people have. I have the same amount or even more. And, 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 and in terms of quality, actually in many cases in terms of the food and stuff like that, I have better quality. It's just that you have to do things differently. You have to be a lot, a lot smarter with your money than you would if you just said you had a lot of money and were just, were just throwing it around. If you were, you had a lot of money, you were throwing your money around. Doesn't necessarily mean you're getting good quality for what you're spending. It just means you have a lot of money and you're throwing it around. That's all it means. Uh, so uh, there is no barrier as to what you can do if you don't have money. So that's the thing. Not having money doesn't mean you can't live well. And because you have money, doesn't mean you're living well either. <laughs> you can take it that way as well. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, the uh, I'm working on the editing bay. The editing bay is coming along very well. I'm going to do some of my final transfers uh, today to the next editing bay that's going to work. It's going to handle uh, both Beauty and the Geek, uh, Ubuntu, BSD, and Estatal, and some of the Institute channel work is going to be there as well. Uh, then uh, uh, should be done today. I just have to transfer some files there. I have to do some graphic uh, overlays for the new uh, uh, ad hoc notes that will be going on to different institute channels. What else is there to do today? Oh yeah, I still have my Greek on schedule. My Greek is still on schedule for today. That has to be done. The Greek is coming along very well. I'm happy with the way the Greek is coming along. And I still have to now, once I've cleared all this stuff up, I have to sit down and take a serious look at uh, my work as a co-maintainer for uh, the Debian project at FFmpeg. That has to be taken a look at and worked on uh, this week, uh, and particularly today. Well, there's only two days left in the week. This today, Thursday, and Friday, and then Saturday brings in you know well the weekend, and uh, weekend is more or less cleaning up, seeing how far you've gotten during the week, and making the assessment so that you can start planning the next week as to what you need to get done and what you have and what you would like to get done. Uh, that kind of, uh, how, that's kind of how it goes. You spend the week doing whatever you're doing, whatever you intend to do, uh, but you also have the interrupts with, or the unplanned things you have to do. Then you go take the weekend, and the weekend is the assessment of the things that you should have done but never did and so they get pushed to next week uh you also on saturday and sunday try to catch up on things that you should have done but didn't get done as well in other words you don't leave time really take time off to sort of sit back and relax saturdays and sundays are you sort of catch up times there are times where you uh repair things fix things up uh, do general maintenance and look at projects that are almost finished but not quite finished yet that should have been finished and finish those up as, those up as well so anyways our time is up We're, our timer is counting down to the last few seconds uh, I will see you probably uh, at the end of the day maybe or maybe a midday vlog we'll see anyways Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, good morning, everybody. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, I said, well, it's good morning, but it's not necessarily morning itself. It's uh, uh, just about 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 15 hours and 27 minutes into the day of Friday, April 11th, 2014. Yay. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was, it was a pretty good day. I didn't vlog at the end of the day. I just I was tired all day yesterday. Uh, Thursday was, was uh, what I call blah day. I just didn't, f there was no energy during the day at all, so I did the bare minimum of work. Uh, so a lot of stuff is left over for today. 
Uh, but the thing is, things are working all right. I am, as I said, when I talk about a bare minimum, things are moving forward. It's just that they're not moving forward at the pace that I intended them to move forward on a daily basis. But that happens sometimes. And this, this is something you got to realize that, uh, well, <laughs> I was going to say, you, you, you sometimes don't get to meet your schedule. Well, for myself, it's, the reality is, is that more often than not, I don't meet the schedule. I mean, yeah, I set the schedule, and this is why I set schedules lightly, because I never end up meeting the schedule. As, as always, this is what I intend to do, but the intention is there, but it, the intention is never, ever met. So, <laughs> as long as I'm, as long as I'm, I, I see at the end of the day, the, the, uh, when I go to bed, when I'm tired and, do, and I can't do any more work, uh, that I've made some degree of progress, then I'm happy with that. So... <laughs> And that's what it is. Is, it, is it the minimum is as long as you're in the right if you're facing the right direction then you're that's a good thing. If you're facing the wrong direction that's that's something that needs to be worked on. Uh, so I am definitely facing the right direction and as a bonus I do on a daily basis move in the right direction. It's just the question of how much I move in the right direction on a daily basis. So. <laughs> and that's, that's a, that, it's the end result of the it's the result at the end of the day that tells you whether you're moving in the right direction because there is movement in the wrong direction there is movement in uh, uh, you know yeah yeah there is movement in the right wrong direction but uh, because during the day you have movement in the wrong direction and you also movement in the right direction if as long as you have movement in the right direction. Uh, ends up being more during the day than you have moving in the wrong direction, then, you know, that's all right. That's, you know, that's the, 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 the overall total, the overall sum is you're moving in the right direction because the right direction is uh, greater in terms of the amount of wrong direction that you had during the day uh, is greater than, than that. So that produces a overall positive direction. Uh, you do have to be concerned if you end up in, a, in an overall negative direction. And that's kind of what happens when, when these interrupts happen, like a, a hard drive failure or a system failure. Uh, that, those are your negatives. Those are the things that sort of pull you back. And at the end of the day, you can end up in a negative space uh, simply because, you know, these things have happened and it's pulled you back. The, it, as I said, it's how you deal with these negative directions, the negative uh, results during the day. That was that's what ends up determining whether or not you end up moving forward or backwards. And uh, so far, thank God, uh, I've been able to, uh, given the uh, interrupts that have occurred, the negatives that have occurred uh, uh, these last few weeks, I've been able to sort of move myself in a positive direction. It hasn't been easy. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, and I think this is part partly what contributes to my fatigue, yes, particularly yesterday, is that uh, when you're in the negative position, you don't want to be there long, and you're aware of the time. So that has a bit of stress, and your adrenaline works over time to sort of push you out from the negative position to more of a positive position. And then once you're at a point where you're comfortably moving in a positive direction, your adrenaline drops off because it's no longer needed to push you forward. That, that, that anxiety to push forward is no longer a necessity. And you start feeling the sort of sign of relief that, you, well, yeah, so far, I'm out of it. I'm, you know, I'm out of that danger zone. You're always aware that these things could occur again, that, that you're not completely out of the danger zone, that, that these things could pop up again, but you're not, you're not in control. You, you can't control all the events. We like to think that we can control all the events in our day, but if you sit down and look at it, the amount that we actually control is very minute. The, most people say, oh, it's fortunate that I ended up in the right direction. Well, no, it's not necessarily fortunate. It just... You know, <laughs> sometimes you do have these 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 extra helps along. You know, the extra help along the line of well, I contribute that to God, and <laughs> other people don't. They think as well, it's just lucky. Well, it's not. It's not. It's more than just lucky. There's people looking out for you. So, 
Uh, but as I said, these are things we're not in control of. And it's how we deal with the things that we are not control and in control of that sort of determines whether or not uh, things work out all right or not. And, and the thing is, as I said before, this does not necessarily mean, you know, dealing with these things are easy. You know, as I said, yeah, it is important that it is that you that you deal with them, and how you deal with them is important. But as I said, the the actual. Uh, task of dealing with problems and, and issues and interrupts is not necessarily an easy thing. And part of the problem, in addition to the actual problem itself, is dealing with your own emotions behind it. How do you feel about what happened? You know, are you terrified? Are you, uh, you know, nervous? <laughs> does it make you a nervous wreck? Uh, you know, does it stress you out? Does it freak you out? Uh, you know, how you, you know, are you in a panic mode? You know, are you panicking? And this kind of determines whether or not you can sort of, you know, pull yourself out of it. And I said, I, for myself, I find the meditation of prayers, and the prayer in the Eastern tradition is, Eastern Christian, Christian tradition, is a form of meditation. That, uh, that the prayer meditation helps center myself. It helps calm the panic down that you feel when this initially happens. And it allows me to sit back and think about you know, what has occurred and how I'm going to get out of it. You know, in other words, it allows me to put together a method uh, of solution. And wherever I didn't have that, uh, you would still be frustrated, you'd still be in panic mode, and but you'd have no solution. So, <laughs> but they, this didn't come immediately. This, you know, there were times when we went first or that the panic was, was absolute and all I did, the only solution I had was to simply go to bed. But now that I've had more experience in this, that's not the case. I can't actually move forward with things. Anyways, our time is up. Uh, <laughs> it's time to get the rest of the day started. I'll talk to you maybe a little bit after breakfast. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the day, you know. Anyways, see you later. Bye. <laughs>Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, I'm just getting my day started. Just got up a few minutes ago. Uh, did my usual walk around to check everything out. and uh, Came back here to do uh, this. This BTS vlog. And so let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and 2 minutes into the day of Saturday, April 12th, 2014. That's right. We're coming to the mid-April now. Uh, our time for starting is a little earlier than yesterday. Uh, it, 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 it seems things are kind of bounce. My uh, one I'm getting out of, uh, up is kind of bouncing around. Right now it's between the 2 and 4 o'clock region. So we'll see where we where we end up. Uh, by the end of the month. Uh, I know tonight is going to be a long night. It's going to be another all-nighter tonight. Uh, i got a lot of work to do, a lot of studying to get done. And so it's going to take most of the night to do that, sort of get myself to a point, you know, well, it's not like, what happens is that I have to go to church early in the morning, so there's no point in going to bed uh, in between. So I fill that time with work that needs to get done that hasn't been done and try to sort of uh, push myself a little bit further ahead, give myself a bit more momentum than I had going into the weekend. So that's how I use that time. So basically my downtime, my, my real downtime is Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when I have sort of the, uh, the more of the time off. There's not as much to do. Uh, because basically Saturday and Sunday uh, are kind of written off because of the all-nighter. Uh, uh, this, this also, it's also I'm I'm trying to get caught up on my blogs right now. I'm, I mean I'm a, I'm a, I'm about a week off of the vlogs. I'm gonna try to correct that. I was going to, I should say I was gonna try to correct that this week, but that's not gonna happen because this is uh, what most people know as Easter week. Um, uh, 
so it's going to be mostly uh, church and so on and so forth. So uh, when the vlogs are up, I'm not really too sure. Uh, I've got to sort of work around that schedule. Uh, but it's going to be good for the Greek anyways, because I mean, I'll get a lot of Greek practice in, so <laughs> that's going to be a good thing. Uh, as for anything else, uh, we've got to sort of see how everything else sort of kind of fits around that. And we'll, you know, that will determine at, at the end of the week at, you know, on, 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 on uh, uh, Pascha. And so we, we call it Pascha, like basically Passover. Uh, because it's the New Testament Passover. We wait for the uh, Old Testament Passover to finish. We celebrate that too. Uh, and then we have the New Testament Passover. So uh, that's kind of how we do things. Uh, and this is an Eastern church. Yeah. And that leaves us with, uh, you know, this one, but basically two weeks worth of uh, of a festival where you don't really know what's going on because things have to kind of work around the church. So, but the thing is, it bring, it, it does bring in several all-nighters. It does bring in other options that you can do more studying with. So for myself, anyway. So it's not really too much of an issue in terms of. Uh, getting my work done but uh as for the kitchen diner the kitchen diner is coming along uh the machine shop's coming along uh i've got to finish up some work in the uh closet today uh that's going to be the, sew the sewing and design room uh i am trying to get uh the editing bay we're going to be doing uh beauty and the geek functional uh, that should be happening sometime today i've got to just got to off offload a few more files to it and uh, away we go. Uh, I'll also be doing, uh, what else is it? Uh, now that the weather is good, I'm going to try to work on the series called Wandering. Wandering is a, uh, is a uh, basically a nature program, but rather than being uh, fixed on anything, it's going to be set to the, to the uh, position of random walk. That's what's called Wandering. And it's just, as you're out uh, watching and observing nature, what do you learn from that? And that's kind of the way it's going to be. It's not going to be sort of an encyclopedic romp through the, uh, through the wilderness, you know. And you have people, you know, they are good documentaries, but they're more or less encyclopedic. They walk through, they tell you what the animal's name is, they, you know, they give you a little bit of a history on it, you know. Not too much, but there's you know enough to be enough to be have give you a bit of information, but also to be entertaining. So we call it infotainment. But I'm not really particularly on. Um, I'm not particularly in those lines. I'm not uh, an infotainment type of person. I tend to be more on the geekish side of things. So it's going to be. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do do it this way. Have information in there, but also have it to be a bit entertaining. Not, but not be infotainment. In other words. The information isn't there to be entertaining, but what happens? Hope, hopefully, the uh, information will be presented in an inf in, in an entertaining fashion, so that it will be interesting to people. So basically, you, you go to a field, you find a field or uh, nature around you, and you start watching it. That's the, I mean, a lot of uh, of scientific work is simply observation, and uh, with a video camera, that because you have that, then. Uh, uh, you have the ability to do uh, 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 video documentaries. You have the ability, ability to sort of watch and record uh, uh, scientific observation. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> you know, if observation is the key, that's the key to science, then uh, a camera uh, is definitely an asset. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this short here. I still got a lot of uh, uh, editing work to do. Uh, I do have to reorganize my notes again. Uh, things are popping up that uh, my notes are a little out of order, so they have to be reorganized. And once that reorganization is done, that should leave me new, more room to do some new stuff. So we'll see. We'll see because now we're into the spring and we're going to do the, the spring cleaning. We'll see what sort of schedule we can sort of set for the summer. That kind of will be an interesting thing. Anyways, uh, uh, that's it for now. I've got some more work to do. Uh, I'll do some more file transfers uh, back to here. 
And then uh, I'll talk to you guys later about uh, a variety of other different projects I'm working on. So uh, hopefully I'll vlog later on today. All right, take it easy. Good morning, everybody. It's time to get another day started. Uh, I don't seem to be too good at lately of be vlogging at night or at the end of the day. Uh, I am rather tired at that point in time, so uh, uh, the success of vlogging during that period of time has been, well, let's just say lacking. <laughs> Anyways, let me give a time and date stamp. As I said, a vlog is not a vlog without a time and date stamp. That's, well, our, our vlog anyways, right? Because a vlog is a log that's done on video. And a captain's log, like on Star Trek, has a star date and star time. So, uh -huh. this is our star date. It's uh, 15 hours and 34 minutes into the day of Sunday, April 13th, 2014. Now, let's go over this once more because... There are those of you who are new. So let's go over the new part. Let's go over this for the new part. Uh, you may have heard the military time, 1,700 hours, right? right? They do 24-hour times, but they somehow get the idea there's more than 24 hours in a day, so you have 1,700 hours. Well, there isn't, there, isn't any, there, there isn't more than 24 hours in a day. So what you do is you just read the time off as it sounds, as it, as it is. 17 hours and 34 minutes. That's 5.30. About. Right? That's, that's what it is. <laughs> and there isn't anything more that, more to this than simply reading the time. It's 17 hours and now 35 minutes into the day of uh, Sunday, April, uh, I think it was the 13th. Yeah, April 13th. So that, 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 that's it. That, that's as simple as it gets. We're giving you a time and date stamp. We're using a 24-hour format. We're giving you the hour of the day, the minute of the day, the minutes of the day. We're not bothering with the seconds because that's redundant or unnecessary. Oh, and uh, that's the way a vlog should be in terms of if you're vlogging, uh, particularly an experience. You want to know when this video was produced, when it was made, and you particularly if you're going to go back and look at this. And as a scientist, if people want to go back and check my work uh, and see where I came from, amount of work that I've done, well, here it is. Here's the record of my work. My 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 journals, my logs are open for the public. And that's what I'm saying. You're seeing behind the scenes uh, work of a scientist. Uh, this uh, that's why this stuff is raw. It's unedited. Uh, nothing is cut out. Uh, <laughs> my yawns. Every, everything you you, you see. My physical, you see my physical condition on camera. Sometimes I'm very slow and sluggish, and my eyes are kind of, everything's kind of droopy. Well, why? It's because I'm physically exhausted, and you see that condition on camera. Uh, there are times when, uh, again, with, with the exhaustion comes the mumbling. My 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 words come out jumbled. It comes out slurred. It comes out uh, like a mumbling. And some people uh, have commented that I'm, um, I'm drunk on camera. No, I'm not drunk. That's fatigue. That's physical fatigue. Physical fatigue can, in many cases, uh, particularly when you're getting into sleep deprivation, uh, mirror uh, intoxication. It does actually, you know, sleep deprivation, and, if, if, and this has been shown in many different research studies, does, in fact, mirror intoxication. It does, you know, create an impairment. So... Uh, is it, this is what you're seeing here. Uh, on to the next topic. The next topic is uh, I got a uh, comment from a person in Cyprus. Uh, uh, I believe his name is Simos. I can't remember his last name. I'll have to give you the last name later on, but I don't really know. I'll, I'll, I'm going to give you a rough pronunciation based on my new uh, Greek reading. I'll give you a, a brief pronunciation. I don't have it here with me, so, so I don't remember it. Uh, uh, and how to sort of say it out. Uh, he was asking about being a free and how do you become a freegan. So uh, that being said, because we are getting into the freegan season, the freegan season is primarily in um, 
spring and summer, that's when a lot of good material goes out and uh, you try to pick things up. So being a freegan is, it, 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 it is simply, uh, well, the North American version of freegan is uh, you try to live as cheaply as possible. This means dumpster diving, this means um, thrifting, uh, and it is on a regular basis. It's, for, it's not for just simply one or two items. It's for your household, like most of your furniture, uh, if you're a freak, it should be uh, either new, it should be either used, recycled, or uh, from the dumpster. And, and from the dumpster doesn't necessarily mean you pick it out of the trash and put it in place. Uh, it means you pull it out of the trash, you fix it up, and then you put it in place. So, uh, it's not as simple as it seems. You do have to have a bit of, uh, what we call handy work knowledge. You have to know how to sand. You have to know how to work with hammers and nails. You have to know how to work with a sand, with, 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 with uh, how to sand things down, how to paint, right? Because you need to sort of, sometimes you need to repaint things. Like, like, that's what I'm doing now in the kitchen diner, is I'm resurfacing uh, some of the, the uh, tables that I'm using in, in, in the sort of these, these are actually cabinets that I got out of the garbage. I need to resurface them and being being resurfaced, they need to have their tops sanded down, scraped down, and then the surface reapplied. That's part of the process. So, being freaking is you are more hands-on. You are, uh, it's not out of the box. I know IKEA, you have to do assembly. This is not assembly work with, as, as, as with IKEA. This is more uh, uh, do-it-yourself type of thing uh, in terms of... Uh, Getting your 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 furniture operational. <laughs> you want to look at it in those terms, uh, so you can use your furniture. Um, and that being said, you, you know you, you you pick your you pick your point where you start. And there's there's a lot of different ways of becoming a free good. And w watching me and watching these videos is only one way of becoming a free good. Take what, see what I see what I've done, and then start looking around and see if you can find other people who've done the same thing. Ask questions. Uh, because the way I started may not necessarily be, be the way you started. I mean, I started because I had specific necessities, but the exact way I started was rather random. I started watching my uncles who were from these old Greek villages. And in these villages, they learned how to work with tools. They learned how to do without almost nothing. And they built an entire Greek village. They, they rebuilt their Greek village here in Toronto. So, you know... When I watched that, I said, well, let me see if I could try and duplicate it. Let me see if I could replicate what I saw. And the result was successful. So, you know, is how you get into this is really up to you. There is no particular set way of doing this. And, uh, you know, uh, it's all about trial and error. Some things are going to work and some things aren't going to work. So uh, I hope this helps. Our time is up. I will talk to you in our next segment. And see you then. Alright, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.